Hey there, game developers. It is I, Titan Hex. I'm here to teach you a little bit more about the RPG Maker software. So we're going to be going into the, let's see, I believe it was the event searcher and the plugin manager. And we're going to take a quick look at those along with a little bit of extra stuff here in the, um, here in the bottom side. So let's take a quick look. Um, so in general, this part right here where it says temple, this is your map name and the map number. So if I change it, you can see that it changes. This helps you keep track of what the map number is and you can sort of play with certain things using that, uh, especially if you save a certain number as a variable and then throw it into the transfer player and use say the ID of that variable. So you can get some ideas of what might be happening to and as in debugging and things like that in case you reference wrong variables. So after the map name uh, and the map number, you also have the size of the map. As you can see, we have wildly different sizes here in each of these different maps. So just keep that in mind. This right here is your zoom rate. So if I zoom out, you can see it's 92%, 100, 113. And the quickest way, of course, is to go back to that one-to-one -one ratio. So after that, you have 2619, and that is going to be your coordinates. So wherever you put your mouse, that is the coordinate that the mouse is in. So as you can see, this is the x-axis, and as it goes to the left, the x-axis goes down. This is the y-axis, and as you go down on the, or you, as you go, yeah, down on the y-axis, the number goes up. Whereas if you go up on the axis, y-axis, the number goes down. So just remember, a y is inverted. Um, and that should be pretty much it. That will help you maybe do transfer things or set up special things. Uh, there, there is definitely a few, quite a few uses to know the coordinates of an event and things like that. So with that extra little tidbit of information, we're gonna jump into the event searcher, which is pretty simple. So our event searcher allows us to search for any events that have the switch, uh, any of these switches in them. So we can look for anything like this. Uh, unfortunately, we only get to choose one thing we can search for. So as you can see, the only switch that uses this is event 002 here in the temple map. Uh, and as you can see, just if I double click it, it doesn't do anything. So just keep that in mind. You just have to kind of memorize what this is. So if you, if I was to check event two, we can see that it's used right, it's supposed to be used somewhere in here. Here it is, saved item equals one. So that's sort of how it works um, for the variable part. And then the event name. So anywhere that it, that this is used, this, event number is used it'll find it so just keep that in mind as far as event name goes the you have to type out the full name of the event for example if i type 002 uh, it will not find any events if i even put a star in front of it it will not find it there may be some search parameter guidelines that you can use to sort of make searching a little bit better but i do not know them <laughs> And if I find them, I'll, I'll uh, give you guys that information. But right now, you have to, as far as I know, do the full event name. But this is a fairly new thing that they added. So just keep that in mind. So as you can see, EV002, it finds that because that's the full name. Uh, it doesn't do partial names, at least not yet. So next, we go to the plugin manager. And the plugin manager is pretty simple. Um, you just double click a space, or if you want to edit this one, just double click the um, plugin you want to edit. And the settings that we sort of get are um, here on name. So this is basically anything in your plugin folder in your directory. Um, you should be able to find that. So you'll have to manually navigate into your game folder, and then you will have to find the plugin folder and you will have to move 
plugins into that manually. So that's that's one thing that uh, they haven't really perfected, but uh, at least you have it. So uh, so obviously you can't do it from the resource manager. You do have to do it from uh, manually from your ex when your Explorer or your Mac um, search your Mac Explorer. I think both of those have Explorers. Anyways, um, you basically, once it's in there, you can pick it from this list under names. So there'll be a drop down box with all the plugins that you might ha need access to. Uh, and these are some of the default plugins that come with your RPG Maker uh, software. So I can have an alternate menu screen, save screen. I can have an enemy book, an item book. Uh, this is the splash screen and all of them have this plugin. You can edit it as you see fit. Then you have the simple message side view, the title command position, the weapon skill. Uh, all of these you can use. So this is basically a quick description of what it does displays detailed statuses, alternate save load screen laid out, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it tells you what it does right here, usually uh, depending on if the plugin manager or the plugin author added it. And then it has the author of the plugin. And that way you can credit them. Um, the, a quick description and you can turn them on and off just to test them out. So maybe you have a suspicion that a plugin is causing issues. You can turn it off without having to completely delete it. And then you can test it out without it. So some of these will have parameters, which the author will set. Um, and then they'll have a default value and you can change the Inf well, you can change the parameters as you see fit. So I can change the background uh, type. So as you can see, I have different background type choices here. Uh, and that's a quick help uh, thing about what it changes. Uh, so this helps me change parameters quickly and easily without accidentally ruining the script. So it's very useful to have, um, and some of them will have them, some of them won't. Just keep that in mind. So this is, uh, <laughs> this is sort of, different parameters you can see in it and if you need access to the help file and you need some of them don't have parameters some of them you have to do special stuff in order to use like the uh weapon skill so it's good to hit the help file for these ones and they're, they're going to be a little more Im involved just make sure you read the help file and then once you understand the help file you can start making changes for example this one uses the note box quite often so keep that in mind and that's pretty much the sum of the plugin manager there's nothing really magical that uh, i have to go into with that but that's just sort of how the plugin manager works so with that we've taken a, a little deeper look into some of the uh, layout of our screen here and we also know a little bit more about the event searcher and plugin manager now we'll be getting into some of the more advanced stuff pretty soon here so that should also be nice um, there's nothing really too special here um, if you want to change things here you can I, I created a map grid and that's why there's darker lines if I uncheck that you can see the line darker lines disappear but that's a good way to get an idea of how many screen sizes my current map is so just keep things like this in mind uh, and you should be able to go through the engine pretty easily, pretty simply. So good luck. And uh, again, uh, always appreciate comments, subscribes, uh, hit that like button. Show me your, you appreciate the tutorials uh, that I'm doing a good job. And as always, Patreon, I have one of those. It's always appreciated to um, be part of the Patreon community. I always have bonuses and things like that for guys, for people who are part of the Patreon. Um, you can learn a little bit more about that through the Patreon page. And uh, thank you. I will see you guys in the next tutorial.